once again, this is a webinar specifically on Scopely to do with Ally Health and Technology, giving you an introduction and telling you a little bit about the information and also update it. So, and a little introduction about what we are and who we are. Scopely to do with Ally Health and Technology is a nonprofit education organization. And our purpose and our mission specifically is to try to provide the community with hands-on training and education leading to economic independence and entry-level position. So we perform those uh, responsibilities by being an exclusive online institution. Our focus, our values and our mission and goals is focus on students. So we value the student learning approach and we focus on student learning experience. We are a student-based organization. And we basically value what our students learn what they would learn what they should be learning and that's how we build, that's how we make our programs make sure that they are learning the employer demand to employer demand competency then we are committed to diversity we ensure that our organization attracts developers that want to raise and we can highly skilled students without regards to race ethnicity gender disability personal background religious or any kind of orientation so once you become a student of Scopy Institute of Allied Health and Technology, we will give you the best education and training that we will provide to you in regard, regardless of any of those qualities. <clears throat> then we also strengthen our relationship with partners. Scopy Institute of uh, Allied Health and Technology strives to build and retain the relationship with our partners. Our, for our medical billing background, because this has to do with the medical billing and coding, our big partners are American <coughs> Association for Professional Coders. These, they are one of the biggest uh, organizations that provide students with uh, uh, certified professional coding exam. And we are a partner affiliate for that organization, with that organization. So if you, come, you become a student in the medical billing program, you will get the best education you require with the changes to in trends of medical field and changes in the coding and billing that are now going through since now there's a whole lot change going on with the healthcare background. So why should you join our program? Um, this is where your career starts. Your green career, green career starts here. And we are an exclusive online organization. We understand the board of directors when they created the organization. They understand that nowadays, financial responsibility is one thing. A lot of people would like to get a career, but they cannot afford going back to school. This is where we come in. We are affordable. We are an adult-based, industry-focused uh, individuals working full-time can continue working and get the education they need. <clears throat> then we are career focused opportunities also. We help our students to get employment in their field. We will, we will help you. Plus, we will, we will receive career, career counseling, including resume building, free resume help, interview techniques, free seminar. So once you become a student of Scorpion Institute of Allied Health and Technology and you graduate, if you're at a point of your career that you feel like the job you had is not motivating you, you, you feel like you need a change, you can come back to us. We will, we will help you to get the position that you require. As that's exclusively just being an, a student of uh, Scope Institute of Allied Health and Technology. I'm going to now introduce you to our academic dean, Ms. Martin Fang. Hi, Ms. Fang. Hello, Dr. Kaiser. So, Ms. Fang is also responsible for the medical billing. Uh, she will talk a little bit about her background. Um, she, is the, she will be overseeing the academic department of our institution, online institution. So I'm going to hand the presentation over to her so then she can start talking a little bit about her experience and then discuss the webinar about business of healthcare, the business of healthcare. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, so uh, as Dr. Kaiser has already said, my name is Margaret Bain. And I am the academic dean here at Skokie Institute of Allied Health and Technology. Um, and my background is in the business side of healthcare, which is what our seminar is going to be about today. Um, I came into the business a long time ago, back in 82, 
and I came in on the insurance end, or if you, if you will, the payer end of the business. I eventually went from paying claims, auditing and training claim adjusters to managing claim departments, and I flipped over to the provider end of the business. Um, and how great, because I knew what to do to get claims paid the first time the right way. Um, so what I wanted to do today is just kind of talk to you about the business side of healthcare. So, you know, here's the thing. You have practitioners, those are your doctors, your nurses, your uh, pathologists, your pharmacists, everybody who actually practices. We say, let the practitioners practice. Let us handle the business. So I'm going to talk to you about that a little bit. I'm going to talk about the type of career opportunities um, that you would be qualified for an entry level, and depending on your background, maybe management level um, uh, opportunities. Um, and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about specifically our medical billing, coding, and insurance program. So here's the thing. Doctors, clinicians, nurses, they go to school and their education, you know, depends on what they're going for. It could be two to 12 years, sometimes longer for doctors. Mm -hmm. Yes, doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be longer, you know, and the thing is their emphasis of their training is, is strictly clinical. It's on diagnosing, treating, in managing people's medical condition, okay? Mm -hmm. They have little to no training in practice management. That's where we come in at Skokie Institute. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the career opportunities um, that you can get, and they really are endless, but I'm gonna just name a few. You can be a biller, okay, a medical biller, a medical coder, which, Dr. Kaiser alluded to um, collections and medical collections. You can be a payment poster. There's insurance claim pre-processors. There's customer service rep in insurance. There are referral coordinators, department coordinators, schedulers, front office. It's endless. It really is. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, then there are some opportunities that may be for you if you already are in the business and you want to you know, upgrade your skills, you can go into management positions like revenue cycle management and practice management, um, a medical billing manager. I was once that, um, a medical collections manager and or an auditor and trainer. And sometimes depending on where you go, you may be all of those things. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to talk a little bit about our program here um, at Skokie Institute of Allied Health and Technology. Um, first of all, as Dr. Kaiser has already said, we are an online institution, which is great because it's online, mm -hmm. it's convenient. You could do this from home in your pajamas, actually. Um, we are uh, an affiliate of AAPC, which is American Association of Professional Coders, and you can, once you're done, uh, receive you know, a few tests with AAPC, you can be credentialed with the CPT, CPC um, designation, which is nationally recognized mm -hmm. credentials, okay? Honestly, the difference between being a certified coder or a certified biller or a certified collector, because AAPC has all of those things. Um, the difference in pay is, is pretty big. That's the difference in $20 versus $30 in pay, the certification. Mm -hmm. So our goal here is to get you to that point, right? Mm -hmm. um, again, like I said, it's na nationally recognized credentials. Um, our program can be completed in less than 10 months, mm -hmm. less than a year for sure, approximately 10 months. It's a perfect program, like you said, for working adults, for people who are displaced, as far as maybe you've been laid off of your job, 
you need to uh, find something different and you want to get into another field, um, students who are, are opting not to attend a two or four year university, sometimes people just want a career school and just go for it. And then there are people who are looking to upgrade their skills. Maybe they want to um, uh, have another career opportunity, you know, or an opportunity to advance in their current career. This is perfect for that. Um, medical, billing and coding professional. Um, uh -uh, go back. Sorry. <laughs> That one. Okay. One more. <clears throat> Sorry, people. <laughs> okay, one more. Mm -hmm. You're going back, aren't you? Go oh, okay. So what do you want to do? One more. Right there. Can you go down? Sorry, you guys. Okay, that's all of it. Okay. Okay. Okay, here's the thing, the medical billing and coding professionals, they're basically in charge of processing all of the patient data, okay, such as their treatment records or related insurance information that are necessary for, you know, um, reimbursement. In our program, we teach you these things. Um, so I'm going to Some of the uh, responsibilities your day-to-day -day responsibilities could include, but just so that you know, these things are going to vary depending on where it is that you, you know, you go and work. But your um, responsibilities could be registering patients, including verifying their insurance company um, coverage, um, reviewing and appealing unpaid and denied claims, handling collection in any kind of unpaid accounts. Mm -hmm. Um, you're going to manage the facilities accounts receivables, okay? And depending on, you know, your position, you may be doing accounts fast. Um, you're going to enter patient um, encounter information. You're going to code using ICD-10, which is International Classification of Diseases. And that just came out, the new revision just went into effect this year. Mm -hmm. Changes are happening, so... You know, this is good if you, you're getting in on the ground floor with this ICD-10 because a lot of people are still doing ICD-9 ICD and they've got to change that. The law is requiring it now. Um, but then diagnosis codes, CPT, mm -hmm. PICPICs, which are medical um, supplies, um, and then procedure codes for doctors. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. You can get started right now in your new career. Keep in mind, this is online. Yes. Okay. Uh, at the comfort of your own home. It's inexpensive. And it's not expensive. It's, it's very, very inexpensive. Plus, now if you register, we are also providing you with a free tablet and 15% off the situation. Okay, so how about that? Mm -hmm. Now you get a tablet. Oh, you need a internet. Exactly. And you can take the classes. Um, so here, classes are starting in January, and we want you guys to, you know, come on in and enroll and call us up if you have questions. Anything that we can answer for you, we're happy to do that. And you can also visit our website for more information. It's siaht.org. And you can also call, email us at uh, info at siaht.org. Uh, 